84 is still a big mess. Tractor traffic is backed up, in fact, for miles after two tractor trailers collided. This happened overnight in Ashford, and it's still a mess out it there. It is still a mess, and sadly, we've learned one person has died after that collision when both trucks ended up submerged in a pond right next to the roadway. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts joining us live from the scene with the latest tonight. Amanda? Yeah, hey, Mike and Keisha, you can see behind me there is still a large response here in Ashford. Now, 15 hours after this crash initially happened, crews only pulled that second tractor trailer out of this pond at around 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can see it down there along with heavy-duty construction equipment that's loading the truck and the debris that it left behind, kind of tossing it on top before all of it is towed away from this area. Sadly, we know one person is dead, and now the investigation begins into how this happened. An overnight drive for two truck drivers ending tragically. The site not something you see every day. Both tractor trailers off the road and in Maury Pond. State police say they were making their way east on I-84 at the Ashford Union line minutes before 2 a.m. when they somehow collided. One of the tractor trailers coming to a stop upright in the pond. The other turned completely over. The cab fully submerged in the water. It wasn't until the afternoon when the trucks were pulled out. The overturned truck, the last to go, leaving a a pile of debris behind. The eastbound side of 84 was shut down for some time, leaving traffic gridlocked for miles. We left Southbury, Connecticut at about 740 this morning. Many were stuck for hours, like the Harrow case from Southbury. I said, you know what, we're very lucky because it could have been us. They took this video on their way past the crash. We were wondering how it happened because it was at 2 in the morning and there's really no cars on the road and it's just a little strange that they're driving right next to each other. Data from the Connecticut Transportation Institute shows there have been 250 fatal crashes involving commercial vehicles in the state since 2015. As the investigation continues into how this crash happened, the DOT has this message for drivers. No matter the size of the vehicle, the type of the vehicle, um, drivers have a responsibility to keep themselves and everyone else safe. So, uh, you know, put the phones down, put the distractions away, follow the speed limit, and certainly make sure that you're driving sober. Now, DEEP and Consumer Protection also responded to the scene today, but we don't yet know what those trucks were transporting or what debris they left behind in the water. Live in Ashford, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News.